Well, so I just watched Zootopia, and what a great movie. What a great movie. That was, it was awesome. I think I'll keep these glasses on. Anyway, I have, uh, no, actually I won't. I had a, yeah, I, I sort of, it was an interesting movie. It was, I don't know, it was, it was different. The trailer and the actual movie, there was, like, such a disconnect. That I felt like the trailer wasn't anything sort of like the movie, the first trailer or whatnot. And, they, and when I searched it up, I was like, Zootopia, and it didn't come up. It was, anyway, then they changed the film name, like, to Zoo... Do something for for the UK audience or whatnot. I don't know why they did that. Anyway, it was yeah, it was a good movie. It was interesting. But yeah, it was it had such a different vibe to it, eh? Like I don't know, I don't know. I still reckon I like the Frozen's better, but it was still a great movie. I mean, Frozen's that really really good. Ah, this was really really good as well. Yeah, it was a, it was a different vibe. It was yeah. I don't know even the footage. The the main the main Zootopia players reminded me of like the the equivalent of you know the Hunger Games, the main the capital and whatnot. And because I'd seen the song, and that's actually partly what made me like it, because the you know the oh 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 try everything that one there, and I heard that song, and that uh, and then yeah, so and then and uh, you know I thought it was a real cool song, and that and I was like oh yeah I should order watch Zootopia, and I've listened to that song a few times, and that there's there's some good references in it, like uh, the, you know like there's the you know there's nothing to fear but fear itself, and there was the the Whistleton, which was I uh, then it's like oh they had that reference in Frozen, but the other way, so I thought that was quite clever. And it was, uh, yeah, it's it funny, because, like, they, when they did it, like, like, over the city, and then it was like, doo, 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 and sort of, like, moved back, and it was, like, reminded me of Casey Neistat, and then when there was something else they did, I was like, oh, I remember that. Uh, and anyway, because, uh, yeah, and then, what was it? At the, oh, what was it? Anyway, because, yeah, I don't know, because as of the, mid, as of the mid-movie, I, I don't know, it was sort of, like, 50-50 on the fence, like, as in, it was still good, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it was sort of like, ah. Uh, but that, but it, man, it was the end. They finished strong. They finished so well. Like it was, uh, they just they finished it really well. Like as in, but as of as of the halfway mark, I'm like, eh, this movie's like, eh. but by the end, it's like, oh, that was a beautiful movie. Uh, just like uh, just the the sloth at the end. It was like, oh, that was good. Oh, that's the other scene. I'd seen that. Yeah, the I'd seen the sloth video on YouTube. And I'd seen the try everything thing, and it's funny because the sloth one. There's people that like with such funny comments and that on the you know the sloth video upload to YouTube, and then they're like, "There we go, watch it in 0.25. Thank me later." And that, and so it's quite entertaining seeing the humor in those comments and that. Uh, so that that was a, that was an awesome, awesome finish to it. I just, yeah, I, I thought it finished really strong, and that you know, I I just you know, and then you know like the uh, yeah, there's just you know her speech at the end. I was like. You know, it's just it was just really well done. The I I love the parking ticket scene. I like that scene near the start where she like whipped around to do all the parking tickets. I thought that was that was like cleverly done, like lo using her ab ability to to do that and that. And you know, it played into the characters. You know, all all of them really well. With the fox, I don't remember his name, and her, can't remember her name, and the sloth. Can't remember his name. Doesn't matter. Anyway, they all had awesome personalities in that. I thought it was. I thought it was great. I thought it was. I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was just. It worked. In, it was that. I liked the, the parking ticket scene. What was the other? There was a few of them, that I thought was really good. The, I. I. Yeah. I don't know. I feel. I feel. Oh, it's not fair to compare it to Frozen in that. The, the different. It's. It's. And it's weird. It's totally different animation as well in that. It was like it's. Oh, it reminds me of uh, Zuba, the game Zuba. I wonder if Zuba came out as the real Zootopia. It's very yeah, yeah. The, the fox and yeah, it does. That seems very similar. Actually, now I think about it, it's it's a mobile game Zuba. So yeah, I was just just trying to sort of. I feel like uh, yeah, I don't know. It just feels mean to even say it, but I honestly I feel like the, the music in Frozen. I prefer the music in Frozen than that. But I love the song. Well, they didn't have as many songs in this one. That's true. They had a yeah, yeah. They have way more songs in Frozen. This was far less of a musical in that. It was more yeah. And again, there was sort of like the sort of the PG feel. Like there's a lot of sort of doo -doo -doo kind of scenes. Uh, yeah, I yeah, but yeah, the songs they did have like the try everything that that fit really well. Oh, that's right. At the end, at the end, when they're doing the, the police thing, it gave me vibes of the. They used to have these little Lego City, these little trailer things, these short videos of these like these little crooks that would escape, and it was like do 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 do, and, and it was like there was the cops and it would chase them Lego City. It was it was so brilliant. It gave me the vibe at the end of like oh, that reminds me of that. So yeah, there was there was some great references in there. Yeah, it was just. It was another great movie. It was another great movie. I thought it was really well done. 
I know, this is like probably the worst movie review you've ever seen. I, <laughs> I just literally just, just literally a camera of me with the time, and it just like, boom, I just finished it. I literally, I, didn't even, I haven't even read the Wikipedia yet. Boom! There we go. So, yeah. So, I had some frozen berries while I ate it. That's, like, my snack of choice. So, yeah, and some mandarins and a bit of 70% dark chocolate. So, yeah. I, yeah, it's just... I thought it was well done. I just... There was a couple of other things I was going to mention, but I've forgotten what I was going to say about it. But, yeah. It was... Yeah, it was... It was, a, it was a solid, smooth movie. It was... Yeah, it was entertaining. You know, there was... They they really yeah the, the the characters' personalities were really good in that and they worked well together. They really played off each other, which I thought was really well done. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I could part record part two as I did the read the Wikipedia and that, but probably not. But yeah, overall I enjoyed the movie and uh, yeah, it's, it, it, man, it it finished so strong. That was like such a good at, at the end of the one down the window into the. <laughs> <laughs> with this laugh, that was brilliant. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video on that. Do let me know in the comments. What do you think of Zootopia? Have you seen it? Would you like to see it? The green works are nice. I like the green. I miss the green. I still have the red as well. Green, red, and a Star Wars shirt. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. I'll commentate extra things I remember in the chat as I premiere this. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you all soon. See you later! Okay, so a couple more thoughts on the movie. I've just read the Wikipedia. Well, skim read it. Very skim read it. I just find it incredible how much they change the plot and keep changing things. And you think, man, if they didn't do that, the whole thing would have been different. Or if they didn't do that, it would have changed all this. So I just find it incredible how they've done that, uh, have done that. And it, yeah, so uh, that was, I thought, was quite interesting in that uh, regarding the writing section. And, oh yeah, this, this is, I find this absolutely crazy. Like, I mean, I think it's awesome and impressive, but man, like they went and the, the animators spent eight months studying various animals' walk cycles as well as fur color. And so, so they could then like replicate them in the movie. I'm like, that's, that is dedication. I mean, that uh, research for the film took place at Disney's Animal Kingdom as well as in Kenya. There you go, and the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And I, it's just like, Man, that is impressive. That is impressive. And regarding the animation, the uh, uh, one of, uh, in a rodent with more strands of hair than the four hundred thousand that were on Elsa's head in Frozen. Like what? Like how? How do we even distinguish that many? Like four hundred thousand. Like are there in four four hundred thousand pixels per frame? Well, what is it? No, no, I don't reckon there are. Uh, 1,000, so, 920 times 10, oh, no, that's a, that's a computer monitor and that. Oh, uh, well, you yeah, know, I guess you're right, yeah. But that would be, a, like, a single f pixel per, yeah. Anyway, I just thought that was absolutely insane. And just because, yeah, like, for example, Disney's most recent work on animating fur was for the... Uh, for the film Bolt in 2008. The software they used at the time was not ready for creating realistic fur of the animals in Zootopia. So it's fascinating how they're constantly updating their software and all that would make sense, you know, and it's getting better and better and better as they improve in that. But it, it, I just think it's, it's super, super cool that IT software engineers developed fur controlling software iGroom, which gave character designers precise control over the brushing, shaping, and shading of fur. I was like, man, like, this is just insane. How to the level of which they've done that. I just thought that was absolutely super duper impressive in that. And then there was all the stuff about the name and like how in a few of the countries the zoo, uh, Zootopia was like, they, they couldn't like, and so then they had to use Zootropolis in reference to the concept of Metropolis rather than Utopia and that. And yeah, I just thought I just thought it was really, really fascinating that. Did really, really well in the box office and that. And mostly good reviews in that. And yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd just mention a couple of the things that I thought were interesting. So yeah. Awesome movie. Epic movie. Hope you enjoy it if you watch it. And if you haven't watched it. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. So have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. See you all next time. Goodbye for now.